Shown that. <laughs> right, the things that are in here should not be shown, except for one or two things. This. Like Never successfully used this once. We'll give it a go. So what you see there is just a standard domestic safe nothing special about it we won't understand the pins that are in there using the kit which will override the code and open it up so it's definitely locked I'm going to place you back up and let's see how we get on this is a few years old I actually forgot I had it, but I always want to do a video on it because it's more of the prepper side. What happens like you just saw me raid in my room there, what happens if this was post-apocalyptic times and we had to get into things? And there's a couple of good computer games out there that illustrate that. I think I've got one of them up here actually. The Last of Us, that type of scenario. <laughs> this is where this would come in. Unless of course you're spying someone and bad people in here, maybe want to steal their stuff <laughs> so you need the thing to get in with the pins listen very carefully if there's four pins maybe a fifth you need the anchor because the way the pins move up at different bits that's how you get a different key do, 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 do. Uh, this is more of a quick video guys, if you want the anatomy of it, I'm more than happy to do better videos, so just let me know, and I'll do that for you. So it's definitely a lot. This will be the more trickiest one. Right, so that's where the pins are, so we need the anchor at the opposite side. going that way. So a little touch of weight up the way with your finger, not too much to prevent the pins. And this baby in first, right at the back. Lift them then all up. And it's a case of going, oh, I've got a couple there. Oh, 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 oh my, first time lucky. There we go, it's over. Voila! <laughs> Easy as that. Now with those pins out of place, it means it's open, so we just listen to the clicking. That's it, back in place. That was literally seconds. Let's go back in again. It's never the same twice, normally. A little bit of weight on here with the thumb and the anchor. Sometimes it's just a case of pushing them all up until they actually get stuck. Stuck up there. People will be saying, go individually on the pins. But if you actually bring it back, I think I heard one there, so there was one in place. The other one to try would be, I think they call it a rake. This one, this is quite good. That's a free for all. So again, Get this in first, sorry. Pop those pins. Anchor in. A lot of weight. Oh, there we 
ど。はは。ドゥドゥ。Easy as that, guys. Let's lock it up. So it doesn't matter which one you're using. The whole point is getting the pins up. The anchor with a little weight on it is when they're up, they stay up. So let's have it. It grips it. Do I want to try it with this? If I do, it'll be the first time success, but I'll give it a minute. So it's going down anyway, so this will be perfect to go in there at the back. A little weight. Let's see how we go. Oh, there we go. I'm amazing. box has been found inside. Same principle. Find out where those pins are. Listen carefully. Sounds a few in there as well. Get your your anchor in place. So if the key's up at the top it's coming down. And with any type. So it's in there. Just a little a little touch. Get your pen on. Oh, sorry, should I say get your pen on first? And then this underneath. I'm gonna try this side and then we get a better view away from my hands. Right, so it's get up the way to go with it, so You can see it's completely turned round. And we'll get in here actually. Oh, hello. <laughs> wow. Locked. He's gone. Now, this is what is left of a hairpin previously used. About five years ago. Got the little lip up there just to resemble the pick. This bit was curved around my finger. <coughs> Excuse me. We still need that anchor. So we'll get the pin in. It's locked. Right to the back and up. Get the anchor in. Just like that. That'll push up in the way the lock will go. It's a bit awkward because it's not weighted down. And I had a pin there, clicked it back into place. It's actually quite small, it's just awkward, it's not. Oh! Excellent! Doo -doo. So there you have it. Anyone can pick a lock. If I can, anyone can. I think I got the whole kit guys, uh, all different things here, that's the single ones, that's the doublers here, all different models, no idea what you call them, why they would even need doublers, and obviously different locks out there, that's the whole thing, there's better channels dedicated to it, but with this pack came this easy pickings, uh, so there's the lock pick gun, illustration raking and that's what it's called did I call it a rake? I think I did uh, some illustrations but see after watching a couple of videos to understand the anatomy of a lock you'll then understand why those childhood movies where you thought it was great just did 
foot about and it'd open up and how quickly they did it in a movie. <laughs> in the case in real life, except for these examples, I suppose. And those pins are doubled, close, and the pick or the key separates them. And when they go up, gravity will bring them down. But that's where your anchor comes in place with that little tension because once they go up, they're stuck and they don't slide down. And that's how you can move on to the next one. And once they're all up, open sesame. So I know it's not the greatest video, it's a quick one. Well, guys, there you have it lock picking with a rake and a standard pick, and then a cool little thing at the end with paper pin. I recommend using a bigger one, or that was just a little awkward, but it did the job. Easy pickings illustration, it came with it. The whole kit was £10, so nothing in the terms of an expensive uh, one piece, ten piece, or whatever piece. There's ones out there for hundreds of pounds. I managed to do it with a pin. <laughs> so, uh, it's just one of those extra things from watching YouTube videos years ago. Uh, I had a lot of student loans, so these are the things that got bought at the time before I found about iMac and microphones and GoPros and microphones for GoPros Nikon cameras and microphones for that and green screens and then four season wild camping tents blah de blah so in the beginning I got little silly things like this but you know what it ain't so silly if we end up needing it so it's just an extra little variety coming like I promised on my recent update uh, video this would definitely fit more into the prepper side rather than the bushcraft side. So, uh, little things like that, adding up to the persona of Prophecy Prepper, just to see that I am a man on a mission. <laughs> so hopefully something like that is there for you. If it's something you've been searching for and you're new to the channel because of this one video, have a look at the others, give it a, a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to look at the beauty of the West Highlands and camping, to prepping and bushcraft, self-defense fitness it's all coming so hit the sub button